Uganda Water Incorporated, GWI, has invested in new equipment to prevent low pressure and lengthy disruption during the maintenance of the company's wells. Renata LaFleur tells us more. Executive Director of Operations at GWI, Dwayne Shako, said over the years, after two years of operation, large wells' production drops. If a well is reduced to half its production, it never returned to its full production capacity. Therefore, proper maintenance and rehabilitation is pivotal for the upkeep of the wells, Shako explained. So it's important that we able to capture these wells and have them rehabilitated before they reach to less than half their production. Now we have 140 or 37 wells across the country. And when you look at the treatment plant, it's 141 wells across the country. The wells is the heart of our business. If the wells fail, GWI by fail. That's where we get uh, more than 70% of our production is groundwater. Over the years, GWI's drilling technique was time-consuming and ineffective. It also includes the use of a lot of chemicals that block the wells over time. I have to extract diamond now for maintenance. It will take me, diamond is about 600 feet, that's the depth of that well. It will take me about two weeks to perform maintenance, right, to clean the casing, clean the screens, because I'm, I'm operating at 600 feet below ground. You picture me taking diamond out for two weeks to maintain, and I have 5,000 customers out of water for two weeks. Right. I'm quite sure within an hour, within two days, I'll see an article in the paper. Diamond, crisis in diamond. Right. So with that in mind, what we, have, what we did is that we brought in special equipment that allowed me to clean diamond. I can extract the well from 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and by the time you wake up back in the morning, the well is clean and ready to go again. GWI engineers will be trained in Holland for use of the equipment. Renette Lefleur for InfoHub.